husband will face the possibility of life in prison yet again. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again next Friday at 9, 8 central as we begin our 31st season with all new two-hour mysteries. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt for all of us at NBC News. Good night. Dateline, missing in America. Listen to the full season now. On our broadcast tonight, a restaurant owned by a state representative caught fire. We'll have the latest on the Algin Dinner Club. Plus, the Sakagan Chippewa community is gearing up for a celebration. And tonight's Friday Night Blitz will have a roundup of your high school football games across the Northwoods. You'll lo your local news starts right now. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 10 starts now. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Jessica Jukic. A restaurant owned by Representative Rob Swearingen caught fire in Rhinelander tonight. The Pelican Fire and Rescue is investigating a fire at the Algin Dinner Club. The fire happened just before 8 p.m. tonight. Crews were called out to the scene for smoke and flames shooting out of the building. Fire crews say no one was injured and they were able to get everyone out safely. Multiple agencies responded to the scene to put out the flames, including Rhinelander Fire Department and Pine Lake Fire Department. They'll be shut down. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to need to have an outside investigation of the fire. An eyewitness says they saw flames behind a kitchen wall that vented through the roof. The cause of the fire is under investigation. It was a rainy day throughout the Northwoods. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller's tracking some weekend showers, Jeff. Yeah, those rain showers are still out there right now. And in fact, it's going to keep raining tonight and throughout the day tomorrow into Sunday as a front is now stalled across our region, giving us those scattered showers out there currently. This over here to the west of us, though, those green areas, that's actually birds migrating. Uh, there's lots of birds migrating this time of year. But looking at closer here, looking at Rhinelander, a couple showers around there, back to Eagle River, back south and west. That is all moving to the north and east at about 35 miles per hour. So scattered showers throughout the area tonight. And not just tonight. This front's going to stall across our region this evening and throughout the day tomorrow, giving us scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow. Nothing heavy or severe, but persisting with many dry hours in there as well. It'll definitely change temperatures today. Highs near 80. Tomorrow, we're going to struggle to get out of the 50s. Are you ready for that? Our forecast then tonight, though, is cloudy skies with scattered showers out there and low temperatures down near 54. Your full forecast is coming up, Jessica. Thank you, Jeff. This week is Suicide Prevention Week across the country. Every 11 minutes, someone in the United States commits suicide, and suicide rates are even higher in rural areas like the Northwoods. Newswatch 12's Mohammed Abdul Kawi explains how Aspirus is raising awareness. We always want to get those emotions out, and the earlier that they get out, the better. This week is National Suicide Prevention Week. Heidi Pretzel, a licensed clinical social worker at Aspirus, is trying to raise awareness around the area with COPE. It stands for Community Outreach Prevention and Education. It's hosting what's called a sticker campaign, and we are promoting the National Crisis Line 988 throughout our local businesses and schools. Senator Tammy Baldwin's National Suicide Hotline Designation Act made this new number a reality. Uh, this uh, 988 number allows people to uh, access appropriate services um, to, uh, and, and it doesn't, uh, it can be also uh, uh, used by those who have a loved one that they're uh, fearful uh, is in a mental health crisis. Feeling isolated, feeling hopeless, or showing rage are all signs of suicide. Julie Christensen, the assistant director of the Vilas County Public Health Department says that if you are experiencing any of the symptoms, you should seek help immediately. There's a lot of uh, different risk factors for suicide. You know, I the age is between 14 and 24, that younger generation, but then there's also uh, veterans, people with PTSD. It really ranges. There's a broad range. Pritzel believes that when people are suicidal, they may not ask for help. Raising awareness as well as providing help to those who need it will save lives. As a community, the more people we train, the more people that learn about um, mental health and suicide, the greater um, educated we will be to identify those people and to be able to listen. Reporting in Eagle River, Mohammed Abdul Kawi, 
News Watch 12. You can call 988 if you need help. It's free to, and available to anyone everywhere, 24 hours a day. In August alone, more than 360,000 people called or texted that hotline. The Oneida County Health Department's offering a pop-up clinic. The health department will be hosting a flu and COVID-19 booster vaccination clinic next week. The clinic will be held at Grace Four Square Church on September 15th from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 p.m. They ask you bring a face mask and your COVID-19 vaccination card. To pre-register, you can go to the Oneida County Health Department's website. The Wausau Police Department is remembering a fallen canine officer. Today, today the department announced 11-year-old retired canine Santo passed away. He served on the Wausau Police Department with Officer Sean Frisch for eight years from May 2014 to May 2022. Santo was enjoying retirement at home with Officer Frisch and his new partner, Loki. Federal officials voted on the final names for more than two dozen places in Wisconsin where previous names for them were considered derogatory to indigenous people. The places had used the term squaw, which has been historically used as an offensive slur for indigenous women. The new names are effective immediately for federal use, but the public may continue to propose name changes for any features throughout the regular board on geographic name process. A lake in Lincoln County has been changed to Wisconsin Lake. A lake in Vilas County has been changed to Siphon Lake. To find the full list of name changes, you can go to our website, wjfw.com. Parents are suing the Eau Claire Area School District over its guidance supporting transgender students. The district is allowing students to change their names and pronouns without parental consent. The administrative guidance encourages its staff to meet with transgender students about using different bathrooms and playing on sports teams that match their gender identity. Two conservative groups are representing the parents. The parents say the guidelines violate their religious liberty and constitutional right to make decisions about their children. The Eau Claire School District declined to comment on that lawsuit. Wild rice is an important part of life for the Sakagan Chippewa community in Forest County. To honor this year's harvest, tribal musicians and dancers will perform at the first ever Manuman Powwow. It's organized by drummer Eric Amundsen. He and other community drummers will be gathered at noon tomorrow to bless the harvest. Edmund said each drum, each drum is unique. The drums are, are sim similar. I mean, a lot of the drums will have have designs, a lot of them are, some of them are painted, some of them are, are dyed, some of them are plain. There's a lot of community work that goes into crafting the perfect drum. Several people are needed to stretch the hides over the drums after days of soaking. Then while there's a ceremony and feast to honor each drum. We would usually have another drum that's already been made sitting there uh, to honor this new upcoming of oh, this new grandfather being brought into our world and into our community. The public is welcome to come out and see the drums in action Saturday at noon at Mole Lake. There will also be native food vendors and crafts for the whole family to enjoy. The Rhinelander Historical Society is winding down its busy summer tourism season. Coming up, the new hours it's rolling out and the new items that will be on display. That's after weather right here on Newswatch 12. crime scenes across Wisconsin, yet Mandela Barnes supports defunding the police. The minute you talk about reducing a police department's budget, then it's like all hell breaks loose, and everybody acts like you're signaling Armageddon, but that's not the case. It's about reallocating funds. And where did your tax dollars get reallocated to? More police security for Barnes. Mandela Barnes, less safety for you, more for him. Wisconsin Truth Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. 2023 Ford F-150 trucks are coming, meaning more ways to haul, tow, 
go, and do. And with more ways than ever to make it your own. Plus, if you order now, you'll lock in your price and lock in your rate. Do more in a 2023 Ford F-150. Custom order yours today. Lock in 2.9 for 60 and get 500 retail order bonus cash when you order a Ford F-150. Only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. Need to update your furniture? Menards is your one-stop shop with all of the latest furniture styles at the lowest prices. Plus, a great selection in stock ready to take home today. So go ahead, relax in a recliner, get cozy in a love seat, or simply unwind with a comfy sofa. Need more seats? We've got sectionals too. Get 11% off on your new furniture set now at Menards. Hurry in. These deals won't last long. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. It's Friday night and it's raining out there right now. Nothing heavy in here, but persistent overnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. And again, there's a couple of showers now with some lightning across our region. So if you're out and about tonight, get your uh, low beams on. It'll help you through the fog and the uh, rain showers out there tonight. Further south, not so much happening here quite yet, but Marathon County, you're next. Along with Portage County, Adams County, and Wood County, the rain showers are not so far away. And again, off and on rain showers tonight and throughout the day tomorrow and into Sunday because this front is going to stall over us tonight and it's not going to move, which means we'll get wave after wave after wave of rain coming our way. Uh, likely several dry hours in there tomorrow too, but overall we're going to get wet tomorrow and also on Sunday. And the rain will begin to pile up, so most computer models are suggesting an inch or so of rainfall, but if you get under a couple of the heavier bands tomorrow, you could easily see an inch and a half to two inches of rain and again, much needed rainfall around here, as you know. Alright, it's definitely going to cool things off though, right? Temperatures today near 80 again. Not so much anymore. It's 54 Manchwich Waters. A front came through the area. We're going to struggle to get out of the 50s tomorrow with the low to mid 60s for a high tomorrow. Also for Sunday into Monday. And then right back up mid 70s again Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So overall slightly below average here, near average there. Uh, kind of a roller coaster week and temperatures head our way. So our forecast then for tomorrow includes rain showers scattered off and on throughout the day and high temperatures in the low to mid 60s. For the south there might be a 70 in here, most likely not. Scattered rain showers once again with high temperatures in the 60s. For tonight, though, showers and a couple of thunder showers out there. Non-severe, low temperatures down near 54 and a northwest breeze around 5. For tomorrow, it's Saturday. Of course, scattered rain showers out there again. And this temperature is going to shock you. 64 for a high, meaning much of tomorrow spent in the 50s. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow we get wet. Also into Sunday, 65. And then then we're going to really do good things here on Monday, 67, bring back some sunshine Tuesday and a Wednesday with high temperatures back in the 70s. Jessica. Thank you, Jeff. While warmer temps are sticking around, summer tourism is winding down in the North Woods. A local historical society is noticing the shift, but it says it had a successful summer. The Rhinelander Historical Society is located on Pelham Street in Rhinelander. The site closed its summer hours after Labor Day on Monday, but is still open by appointment. The president of the society called this year another successful summer. This is kind of a cool place to be because you can lift people's spirits in a whole number of different ways. You know, a good tour, accepting something that they know will be shared, answering questions. He says that there are many exciting things about running the historical society, but the best is being able to answer people's questions. That's, that's a definition of a good day is when you can make somebody happy and, and, and give them some information that'll, that'll uh, you know, help fill in the blanks that they were looking for. The society has received a number of new items this year and they would love for the community members to come and see. Those include a handful of classic books, hand gloves and an old map of a one room schoolhouse. For more information about the museum or to take a virtual tour, you can visit their website at RhinelanderHistoricalSociety.org. Friday night football is winding down. Coming up on News Watch 12, Saul Meyer will have a roundup of tonight's game of the week and other games throughout the Northwoods. Dear gas prices, my lineup brings serious savings. We got this. Toyota Hybrids. 
Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Toyota, let's go places. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City, our prices will blow. It's summertime at the Rhinelander Brewery, featuring live music and open to enjoy seven days a week. Come in and enjoy snacks and our rotating local beer selection. Grab your favorite food at CT's Deli and bring it in to enjoy. Fill up your growler or howler from the beers exclusive to our tap room. We have a large selection of apparel, so shop with your four-legged friends because we are dog friendly. Rhinelander Brewery is looking to enjoy your summer with you. He wants to be a firefighter, a doctor, a teacher, and he wants to be their governor. But Tim Michaels said funding public schools is the definition of insanity. We're already throwing so much money at education. He drained millions from public schools to help fund private schools in Milwaukee and even consider ending the Department of Public Instruction. Tim Michaels wants to be governor for four long years. But what matters more to you, his future or theirs? Dear gas prices, my lineup brings serious savings. We got this. Toyota Hybrids. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Toyota, let's go places. Brian Landers gearing up for its annual Oktoberfest. It'll be held on the grounds of the old Curran School near the courthouse tomorrow. There will be more than 60 vendors on hand, including the Rhinelander Brewery. The event runs tomorrow from 10 until 8.30. There will even be a German spelling contest and polka karaoke contest. For you Eagle River folks, there will be an Oktoberfest celebration from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Rotary Square. Friday Night Blitz is up next after the break, but first, here's a look at this week's Big Old Fish. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Minocqua. You're going to need a bigger boat. All right, I got a question for you. What is the best way for fish to find their way to Canada? Well, to follow the northern pike, of course. All right, well, let's get on with this week's Big Old Fish. We start off with Finley Dietrich. Now, he was fishing with his dad on Lake Lucerne in Crandon, and after waiting patiently, this two-year-old angler, yep, you heard me right, I said two years old, caught this dandy rock bass. Now, obviously, he's very excited, but he's not too sure about grabbing it yet. That'll come with time, but I'll tell you what, that is one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling him in. Next up on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Walter Bathke. Now, he was fishing the south end of Trout Lake, and he was using simply a hook and a worm to entice this 20-and-a-half-inch, six-pound smallmouth to bite his line. Well, just look at that tank. There's no question about it. That is one Big Old Fish. Way to go, Walker. Keep on reeling him in. And finally on this week's Big Old Fish, we have five-year-old Porter, who was fishing for crappies with his grandpa on Lake Wausau when he saw his bobber go under. Well, then he grabbed his pole, and the battle was on. And it was a heck of a battle. His mom even had to hold on to him to make sure he didn't go for a swim. Well, anyway, after a long fight, his grandpa netted the beast, and then there were lots of giggles and smiles had. Because a 32-inch northern is, in fact, a big old fish. Way to go, Porter. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Norling Taxidermy Fish Mill is on our website, WJFW.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. Did you know Tim Michaels pledged to cut millions from public schools and give it to private schools instead? His plan would increase property taxes by $500 million. Tim Michaels is too radical and too divisive. It's like I'm downloading in slow motion. Wish we had better internet. Charlie! That's right, it's me, Charlie. Wish specialist for Spectrum. Let's get that wish granted. How? Spectrum internet delivers fast speeds for a stronger connection on all your devices. Here. Here! Yeah! And here. 
Plus, get a free modem and free desktop security to keep your kids safe. Online. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month. Call 833-768-4999. Why do we need all these remotes? I wish our shows were in one place. Spectrum TV makes it easy to find your favorites. Plus, you'll have access to over 85,000 titles on demand. And with the free Spectrum TV app, you can watch live sports, news, and more on any device, anywhere. Get Spectrum TV for $49.99 a month. Call 833-768-4999. I wish we didn't have a contract. Granted. Oh, he's good. Switch to Spectrum Internet or TV or get them both for $49.99 a month each. All with no contracts. Call 833-768-4999. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. When I first moved here to Wausau from Madison, downtown was the very first area that I looked at, and I was shocked at the unavailability of housing opportunities that was there. The mall as it is is no longer viable. That has changed. It's changed across the country. And it's our turn to change what we have here into a new vision. My hope is this is something that the Wausau community comes together to do what they always do, which is unite behind reinvesting in Wausau and making it a great place to live, work, and play. Did you know Tim Michaels pledged to cut millions from public schools? We're already throwing so much money at education. He'll drain classrooms and gut school funding. Is that the kind of divisive radical you want as your governor? Friday Night Blitz is brought to you by Rock Oil Refining and Sweetwater Steers and Resorts. Your Blitz starts now. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on this Fish Fry Friday here in northern Wisconsin. I'm Saul Meyer. Welcome back to the Blitz. Alongside me is Matt Weaver. And Matt, this isn't the only thing to get excited about here on Fridays because it's football time. That's right, Saul. We went to a bunch of great games today, but you actually went to the game of the week. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that one? Well, Matt, Tomahawk has had a stellar 3-0 start to the season, but Crandon is no joke. So let's see if clock strikes midnight on this Cinderella story for the Tomahawk football team. Here in the first, Caleb Pelubik, Pelubik, he strikes first by punching it in for Crandon. They get the two-point conversion and win up 8 nothing early. Later that quarter, the Crandon run game was showcased again. This time, it's Mason Mullins for 46 yards, and it's now 16 nothing. But Mullins wasn't done there. Still in the first quarter, he goes 39 yards to the house. This one is getting out of hand. It's 24 nothing. We already talked about one Palubiki scoring. Now it's time for another. This time, Caleb. And he goes 55 yards, powering through defenders. And Crandon is now up 30 to nothing. Now, after some absolutely bruising defense and powerful running, Crandon is going to run away with this one, 38 to nothing, and the clock has struck midnight on Tomahawk's undefeated season. All right, let's head south there to Showfield Stadium. Merrill traveling to challenge Anigo, picking things up in the second. Merrill's up 22 with a minute left. Can they drive it They're to bump their lead? Merrill's QB, Brian Ball's pass intercepted by Zach Forbes to stop the last-minute push and maybe even give themselves a chance. Theodore Reitz doesn't like what he sees, hands the ball off to Napovich, who goes out of bounds, so the clock stops. Then QB Jake Vermassen gets trouble here. He gets lucky, though, avoids the interception, and the pass goes high, and the clock continues to run with just over a second left. Merrill, excuse me, Anigo can't do it and they go on to lose the game. Merrill sweeps, excuse me, shuts them out 36 to nothing. Going up Highway 45, Acanto Falls taking on Northland Pines. Acanto Falls got the ball first and they came to play. Opening drive without throwing a pass, the Panthers moved the ball down efficient before Wyatt Laufren would run the ball in from 20 yards out. The Panthers would punch it in for two and they're up eight nothing before the Eagles get the ball to the second quarter and the Panthers are up 24 nothing now Eagles looking for some momentum get the strip sack very next play ball gets snapped over the head of the quarterback and the Panthers were able to fall in the loose ball 
the Panthers. Mocanto Falls end up winning this game 52 to 10. Now to Abbotsford where the Falcons are hosting the Iola Scandinavia T-Birds first quarter. The Falcons flying high. JV Castillo finds Christian Rivera on this out route. He gets a few blocks downfield for a nice gain. A few plays later, they go on to find the end zone. Abbotsford 13, I scan 7. But in the second quarter, the Blitz, the T-Birds strike first. Parker Gulick's fakes the handoff, launches it to Jackson. Freddie, what a pass and catch there from Iola Scandinavia. That's going to tie up the game, but Abbotsford wouldn't stay down for long. A handoff here to Christian Rivera. He goes to cut left and just accelerates. No T-Bird even close to him, just too much offensive firepower from the Falcons tonight. Abbotsford wins it 63 to 27. Now let's move on to some local scores from teams in our area that were not playing at home. Starting it off, Rhinelander won. They finally get their name in the win column after beating Hayward 14-0. Wittenberg, Burnham Wood had somewhat of an upset here as they lost to Amherst 31-28. And another game I would say ended in an upset was Marshfield putting it on DC Everest. They won that game by a score of 44-29. Matt, what a great showing of games, but we're not done yet. That's right, Saul. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with more highlights after the break. Looking to feed a group? Rhinelander Pub is the fresh, easy choice for nearly any occasion or event, offering full-service custom catering for parties and events of all sizes, providing personalized planning assistance and exceptional service. Partner with us to create an unforgettable event. The 2023 Ford F-150 trucks are coming. Meaning more ways to haul, tow, go, and do. And with more ways than ever to make it your own. Plus, if you order now, you'll lock in your price and lock in your rate. Do more in a 2023 Ford F-150. Custom order yours today. Lock in 2.9 for 60 and get 500 retail order bonus cash when you order a Ford F-150. Only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. Ripco Credit Union. Did you know that Ripco Credit Union has been around for 90 years? That covers generations of members, people we've stood by and stood behind every step of the way. If you're in the market for a financial institution you can trust, one with deep roots in the communities we serve and an attitude of excellence, give Ripco a chance and we'll give you our best. Ripco Credit Union, Rhinelander and Eagle River, federally insured by NCUA. An attitude of excellence, Ripco Credit Union. Rock Oil Refining is looking for your business. We pick up and recycle used oil and other liquid and solid waste with our specialized collection trucks, making it convenient, affordable, and reliable for you. We're licensed, insured, and follow federal and state recycling regulations that work for the environment, not against it. Let our waste collection system work for you. We can come to pick it up or what option works best for you. To learn more about our collection and recycling services, visit rockoilrefining.com or call us today. At Big Valley Ford, we have a great selection of gently used trucks, SUVs, and cars. And we are ready to help you find the right vehicle to explore the North Woods. Big Valley Ford is passionate about every vehicle that enters our service center, and our team of technicians are here to help with all of your service needs. Whether you are looking for a new or used vehicle or need to get your current ride back on the road, stop into Big Valley Ford in Ewan, Michigan, and experience the Big Valley difference. The Rhinelander Pub is now open Monday to Saturday. Come enjoy our newly expanded lunch and dinner menu featuring longtime pub favorites and new entree additions. You will love our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar and Friday seafood buffet. Huge auction, Conover, Wisconsin, 2015 Chevy truck, 2011 Jeep Wrangler, light new Mahindra tractor, guns, tools, home contents, and more. Contact Brass at St. Louis Auctions for more details. Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz. We've already covered some great games so far, and we've got even more for you guys here. Saul, why don't you take us to the next matchup? Well, Matt, after a pretty decent start for the Lakeland Union T-Birds, they dropped a tough one to Mosinee last week. Let's see if they'll be able to bounce back with their game against Medford. And these were two teams that really needed a win, but there can only be one. Lakeland Union versus Medford. Let's ride. 
Here in the first, it was pouring rain, and Medford's running back were using the wetness to slip through tackles and create big gains like on this play. Moving on, this game was old school. Physical, hard knocks, run first, backyard football in the rain. I love it. Medford's defense showed up and they were physical, refusing to allow even an inch. Offensively, though, they used the run game to their advantage and take this one all the way for the score. Medford went on to win this one 38-14. All right, let's head over to Boulder Gresham. Cats taking on the White Lake Elko Wolverines, picking things up in the first. Wolverines are in the driver's seat early on defensively. They start out with the first drive hand up, but Bo Brunner can't take it anywhere. Blake Lambert and his teammates swarm him. Not long after that, the Wolverines again on defense. Keegan Klinger picks off this pass from Emmett Kieglinski, takes it all the way to the house, puts his team up six off of the first drive, and that's just their defense. Let's look at the offensive possession. Caleb Amy drops back and lays this dime into the hands of Keegan Klinger. So after failing on the last two-point attempt, they try it again. This time, it's a go, and it's good. Wolverines go on to win it 48-6. to Now on to Colby, Wisconsin, with Loyal in town, and it's Hawaiian night. Aloha, everybody. First quarter, let's say mahalo to Mateo Lopez for this sweet spin move and a stiff arm on the boot. Gotta love the hard running by the senior bat. A few plays later, quarterback Tucker Meyer, no relation, with the rollout, finds Lopez. The guy can catch two. One-handed grab by him, and he is moving like he's at a luau or something. Touchdown, Colby, it's 7-0. Let's see if Loyal can put something together. Uh, yeah, no. A tidal wave of Hornet defenders, and that would be the story of the night. Surf something, Colby. They beat Loyal 48-8. to Now let's talk about some more scores from teams in our area that we couldn't get to tonight. Starting off, Krivitz hosted Clintonville and were able to escape with a win of a score 28-18. to Auburndale hasn't allowed a point at all this year. That streak ended tonight, but they were still able to come away with the win 29-8. to and Mosini blew out Ashland 55 to 14. Now for our final local scores of the day. This time, it's the eight-man football teams. First off, Luck took on Phillips, and the Loggers took home the 34-6 to win. Next, Port Edwards traveled up to Three Lakes, and Three Lakes was able to come home with the 24-20 win. And finally, the triad team featuring Schwamagon went out to Flambeau, but sadly, they ended up losing that game 38-14. to Well, that's all the time we got for the Blitz this week. Be sure to tune in every Friday night at 10 for all your local high school football highlights. For Matt Weaver, I'm Saul Meyer. Thank y'all, and y'all have a great night. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. Think crime is bad now? Mandela Barnes would make it worse. Barnes would eliminate cash bail even after the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. Supports amnesty and sanctuary cities for illegals. And had worked for a radical group that wants to defund the police. Barnes has a long record of smearing police while spending your tax dollars on security for himself. Mandela Barnes, wrong on crime. Dangerous for Wisconsin. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Exciting things call for a drum roll, like this new offer on one of Wisconsin's favorite lotto games. It's Badger 5 Double Jackpot Days. If a jackpot is won, there's a 1 in 2 chance that it doubles. This offer is included with every Badger 5 purchase, only in September. This exciting offer from the Wisconsin Lottery is going fast. Is this the new phone? Yeah. 
With U.S. Cellular, I got to pick any phone that I wanted for free. And I was already a customer. Any brand? With any size? Mm -hmm. I got exactly what I wanted. Big screen, big storage. I cannot remember the last time I had so many different options. At U.S. Cellular, new and current customers can get any phone from any brand free. Are you actually texting them? I don't know. I Are just like thought I would just... U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is open throughout the year. Dine in with a great view of Duck Lake. Carryout is also available. Enjoy broasted chicken, shrimp, 